Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is another paid request, this time from Galermo. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, topics, reactions, reviews, re reviews, whatever it may be, commentaries, randomness, feel free to send either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box down below under the video. But he wanted me to watch a film called, and I got the title, Monsters, Monsters of Man from 2020. Now, this is a film that I guess got help funded by Indiegogo. Uh, Neil McDonough is in it. He was in Captain America. He played Bison and Street Fighter Legend of Chun-Li. And food for thought, like nine times out of ten when he's in a movie, it's a bad movie. Now, to be fair, this is not as bad. This isn't a rant. But I wouldn't say I was a big fan of the movie either. It was... I do think it, a bit of its heart was in the right place. I don't think there's nothing too egregious about it. It's a independent film with above average special effects. You could say a basic plot, but at the same time... It really hurts that it's 2 hours and 10 minutes. It's overstuffed. I mean, the, the fact is 2 hours and 10 minutes, it, it didn't need to be that long. I think that, that... And when you have characters that are, for the most part, middling, ho-hum characters, it's a lot of running time. The lead guy's all right. It's hard's in the right place. Okay, before I get into what's the plot, these three people who are coders... They are hired and then forced to monitor a military operation. This military operation is headed by Neil McDonough, who he must have shot his stuff in like one or two days. Because everything is in the same office. He's talking on a phone or being angry at a monitor. or To be, be like the easiest job. Now, the operation is, we're in, I don't remember what country we're in, South America, I, somewhere of that nature. It's in the jungle, and it's in the future where robotics are a thing. And the experiment is you have these four robots that look a little bit like Chappie. Remember that Neil Blomkamp film, Chappie? They looked a little bit like that. And the effects are not bad. Sometimes a little bit of clunkiness, but for smaller budgeted directed video film, I like the way that they're designed. I like the way they look. And these four robots are brought in to supposedly wipe out this drug cartel. But come to find out it's a village. Where in the village there's a bunch of kids there. There's a bunch of women there. There's also this one guy who's an ex-Navy SEAL guy. He's our lead. He's alright. He's kind of like a budget version of Gerard Butler. That's the way I would put it. Like He's trying to look a little bit like Hugh Jackman and Logan with the beard. But again, it just kind of remind me of a, a low-budget Gerard Butler. I mean, the lead guy was alright. I don't think he was a bad actor. You also have these six doctors that are there for humanitarian work. Some of their acting was a bit... Eh, a lot of crying. A lot of yelling. And their van breaks down. They go to the village. The four robots parachute down. One of them, something screws up and they land. And their module gets busted. And because their module gets busted... Then, they're not working as well as the other three. It seemed like this movie tried to do one too many movies. It wants to have a stalk and slash predator type of movie. Where the three robots are chasing our characters throughout the jungle. Because when they find out what's going on, Neil Madonna tells people, No witnesses. So they're being hunted through the jungle by these three robots. It'll cut to the three coders 
who this guy worked for Nimba Dunna has a gun on them saying, you better do this. And of the three coders, there's two guys and a girl. The girl half the time is crying, we can't do this, we're killing people. And the one guy with the gun, well, you guys are scientists, you make weapons all the time. And trying to be a little bit preachy, but like it's hard as in the right place where it's trying to be the horror of artificial intelligence. I hate to say it, I think it would be more fun if this was a bit dumbed down and streamlined. Like, if this was 90 minutes and you just want to have Predator with, with these robots, cool. But then we go back to these three coders, which I don't give a shit about. One's a girl that half the time is crying. One's a guy kind of in the middle. And the other's another guy who trying to be the funny guy. Get this thick beard, trying to be the funny guy. I didn't give a shit about them. Each time I cut away to them, I'm like, oh, great. Can we just not have this in the movie? And the doctors, I, I didn't really care about them either. They, uh, they tried to at least try to develop characters at the very least. The lead doctor guy, he's a bit unsure what to do. There's even a point later on he, he might kill himself. But then he does come through, he does help out. So he's not a total worthless waste of space. Our lead, the former Navy SEAL, he's trying to fight the robots. The robots, there's a couple violent moments in it. They do shoot indiscriminately, including kids. So even, yeah, even kids get killed. Now I mentioned there's three robots chasing after them. The fourth robot, because his module's been busted, this is like another movie they're trying to put in where it's like a chappy, short-circuit type of movie where, because the module's busted, it can think more clearly, it can learn more, it can try to adapt more, it becomes more alive. So you have it, someone tries to attack it, it kills them, it dissects them, takes out a heart, takes out a brain, even takes the guy's face, I thought for a second, I'm like, oh my god, is this like a robot leather face? Is he going to wear the face for the whole thing? No. I kind of wish it did, just for the insanity, but no, it looks at it, just trying to learn more and more. At one point, that robot fights one of the robots, and that fourth robot is a bit more moving like a ninja, and able to take it out, at least for a little bit. So that's what I mean, he's trying to pack in, going back to Nimba Dana, yelling out orders, going back to the three coders and their moral qualms about what's going on, going back to people being hunted in the jungle, going back to this fourth robot doing his bit of short-circuit, chappy side plot. And this is why you have so much, trying to have so much stuff in it. But yet, at the same time, it gets a bit repetitive. Hunting these people through the jungle, one person gets killed, or one person gets hurt. And it's not like it's... The cinematography doesn't look that cheap. The effects are definitely above average for an independent film. It's trying to... It's a little bit ambitious, I would say, in terms of story. I just don't think it all comes together in a successful whole. I don't know if you needed, again, a more streamlined script. Pacing definitely would help. Again, there's no reason these needs to be two hours and ten minutes. I think that's a big flaw with the film. And the action scenes are not really that exciting... They're all right at best. But if you want to see how to do that kind of robot mayhem successful, go watch films like Class of 1999. Which is about a zany idea of, in the future, robots are used as teachers at a school, things go haywire, and you have this whole finale where the teenage kids are fighting off the robots and pieces of the school's blowing up and... 
Like, that is much more of a fun, and it wasn't two hours and ten minutes long. Here... Part of me knows, this whole thing with the fourth robot, this should have just been the plot. I think if they went with that, you don't need the Navy SEAL guy. Or if you want him, fine. But let the plot just be this fourth robot, because his module screwed up. He's learned a couple things. This one guy he killed in self-defense because he was shooting at him first. And decides... I don't know. Remember that movie Solo with Mario Van Peebles? Imagine that, but Solo looked like the robot from Chappie. Just have it be that. Just have that robot hunt. The three robots are hunting the humans, and this robot is hunting the three robots. Because it's learned a sense of morality. Now that the module is broke in that given them specific orders. So it's like one hunting the other, who's hunting the other. Stop going back to the three coders, get rid of that shit. That whole thing with the three coders, and like the woman tries to call her boyfriend, or whoever the hell you're supposed to be, and then the bad guy who's watching them finds her and chases her around, finds the girl, stabs her to death, hides her body, tells the other two, oh, I don't know, I couldn't find her. Then those two have this moral quandary, what do we do? What do we not do? Let's try to escape. No, if we try to escape, they'll kill our family. I don't care. If you take all this shit out, that would save you at least 15 minutes at least. At least. Take that stuff out of it because it wasn't that interesting. I didn't care about the characters. It just broke any momentum you're trying to achieve. And again, the robots are more interesting than the humans. And that's another one of the flaws of the film. People, are you sure this isn't a rant? This is just more of a... What, you know... The lead guy's not that bad. The robots look cool. The effects, like I said, are above average. The action is basic, but nothing that egregious. Like I said, trying... To have a robot understand what morality is, how to be alive, and you know that what's the difference between me and you when it's talking to the Navy SEAL guy, where you're a soldier, you've killed. So what what makes you different from me? Like it's tr I did what it's trying to do, and there's a part of my brain that appreciates the effort, but at the same time, uh, you need s either a very strong script or a very you need the rest of the movie to be strong enough to uphill, uphold those. Like, okay, look back in Star Trek, the original Star Trek. But, you know, they didn't have the budget to make the environment all that look that great. But you had a really strong cast to make those deals, those momentum of morality play out very successful. That's why people remember Captain Kirk and Spock and McCoy, because those actors really made those characters alive. It's not the taste. It's not the taste of this movie. Like I said, the lead guy is okay, but basic, basic character, basic in terms of acting. My body even made a weird noise, just go, because it doesn't know what else to say. A jungle hunt, a lot of crying from the other people trying to survive. But it's. There's nothing really much to run home about in terms of the characters. Whether it be their personality. Again, at, at best, like the lead, it's okay. It's alright, but nothing to run home about. And again, here's the thing I keep talking about all the time. With directors and people who make their films. They make the movies... Where they go, I need to keep it all. It's all gold. No, it ain't for fucking all gold. It's not gold, it's not platinum, it's not bronze, it's not even nickelback. You don't need to keep all the shit. I think directors, they need to learn to be editors. 
They really, truly fucking do. That's not just independent films. That's films that go to theaters as well. Directors need to learn to be editors. Not every fucking thing you have in it is a fucking gold platinum. Like I said, sometimes not even bronze or even nickel back. Just fucking learn that sometimes you need to cut shit out to help your movie. Is that always the case? No. But sometimes that's an important matter and it's something that a lot of people just seem to not comprehend nowadays. That's why films get longer and longer and longer. Two and a half hours for this, two and a half hours for that, 220, 240. Not every fucking film needs to be well over two hours. This film should have been a more of a streamlined, fast paced, 90 minute movie. And again, you look at the plot, oh, the robot that could think for himself is the most interesting part of the story, run with that. It hunting these three robots down, these excursions. Three against it, firepower, avoiding, protecting people. Some of the people get separated. The robots protecting them, battling one, gunfight with a second. The third, maybe you think it kills itself, but then it's actually alive and it's somewhere else and it gone away. And you see it walk in, I don't know if it transferred to another, one of the other robot bodies that it killed and it took over that body. And you see it just walking around the market and getting ready for input, as Johnny Five would say, input. That, to me, would have made a much more entertaining, successful story that also got into your primary function about artificial intelligence, but could have made a more entertaining film. And there's dumb stuff that the humans do. There's a part where one of the robots gets stuck in a fucking piece of a cave. The characters are going past it because it's stuck but the fucking gun is like right there no one takes the gun why they don't take the gun I don't fucking know why don't they take the gun I don't know <laughs> spoiler alert for those who want to know spoilers spoilers how the robots taking out sometimes I do these spoilers in case people don't want to see the film I'll just tell you what the fuck happened, so if you don't want to know, if you do, thanks for still watching. There's like a mine, the the lead former Navy SEAL shoots the mine, blows one up. Then there's two robots left. One robot... It's ready to kill the lead guy and this kid he's with. And the fourth robot takes his head and rips his head off. And then the last robot who... Our fourth robot did a bit of ninja move and took down. Gets recharged. But is now faster and stronger. And they have a, a little bit of a fight. While the one human asshole bad guy. Who's with the three coders. He's there having to fight with our human villain. And again, even the bad guy... You have the cliche where the good guys fight me like a man while the bad guy's a gun and the bad guy drops a gun. Okay. Listen, there are films back to the day I loved that did that. If you're going to do that, either, either, the movie has to be worth it that you don't just cringe on that. You don't, come on. But again, there's movies I love that have done that in the past, but you're enjoying the rest of the film that you'll forgive that fault. Of egotistical machismo. But it's like, come on, dude, really? So then the fourth robot is grabbing the third robot. It even grabs the, the human bad guy's ankle. Does a self-destruct. Blows all three of them up. And so the former Navy SEAL, the little kid, and a couple of the doctors, they make it out. Then Madonna kind of just yells for a bit, throws a couple stuff, and then just walks out. He never gets a comeuppance. The coders, like I said, the woman's been killed. The other two, the place blows up. The, the tr wannabe funny guy dies, but the other guy, I guess, was thrown forward and is still alive. With some really bad, iffy special effects on that one. 
with the explosion and such. <sighs> this is a movie that you look at the the poster, maybe even the trailer. It could have been better. It could have been a lot better. I I wasn't really much of a fan. I'm not calling a rant. Is that a raging rant? <sighs> But it just, uh, this could have been a lot better. It's just a 5.4 on IMDb. I think it would be a bit lower. Maybe 5.1. Like I said, with this potential with the way the robots look, the way the effects are done with that, with some of the, the way the jungle looks. Like I said, the kid and the lead guy, their acting's not that bad. The kid, there's a point where someone he loves died and He's trying over it. It's very believable. It doesn't seem forced or phony. Like the lead kid's doing the best he can with what he's given. Same with the, the lead guy. But it's just out of this director, out of just the script, out of just what they try to focus on, or they just try to stretch the plot too much around in different places they didn't need to. Again, if you focus on the fourth robot, chasing the other three robots, kicking their ass, protecting these humans. I think that would have worked out better. Not go back to Neil Madonna. Not go back to the three coders all the time. Among other stuff. Also the doctors. Maybe pick some better actors. Because some of them were pretty shitty. <laughs> and let them do a bit smarter stuff. If a fucking robot is trapped in a cave. And there's a gun right there. Grab the fucking gun. Even if they get out, at least they won't fucking have the gun. And then you have a gun, and take the gun to right into his fucking face. Just saying. So, with that said, Monsters are Man, a disappointed misfire. I say disappointing because you look at the, you know, the idea, you look at the... In better than average production value, and, uh... The fact this was on Indiegogo and got supported. I'm like, well, there's just other stuff I think would have been better for that money to go into support. That's just my opinion on it. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.